Okay, so we're going to look at using EndNote to insert references in Microsoft Word 2003. So in the EndNote program, the first thing we want to do is save a new library. So I click on New Library and save it somewhere. I'm going to call this Project Library. So Project. And now we can start uh, our references. So what we want to do is first of all determine our output style. So to do this we go to the Edit menu, Output Styles and Open Style Manager. And we want uh, Royal Society of Chemistry styles for our thesis, so we click on a, a, an RSC paper, Chemical Communications. If we wanted American Chemical Society style, we'd choose an American Chemical Society paper, such as JM ChemSoc. Okay, so I can choose ChemCom there, and now I can start inserting references. So I click on the New Reference button, and there's a wide variety of references there, some are off the screen, but we've got journal article, web page, book, book section and so on. So let's start with a journal article. So we'll just enter in the details, the author's name, uh, with full stops after the uh, initials, the year, the title, journal, abbreviated or not, whatever you decide, but keep it consistent, the volume, the issue and the page numbers. Okay, and just X that. And there we see a reference and in the preview window what our reference looks like in the RSE style. Let's try a uh, web page now. So it's just off the screen, but I'm selecting web page. And again, we can put in the web page author if known. Sometimes this isn't known. So I'm going to call this the Interesting Results Association. My year, uh, that may not be known either. The web page title and the access date. So year and month are usually fine. So there's my web page reference in the ORSC style. Access date is very important. Let's try a book reference now. Remember, book and book section are different. We'll put in a book reference here. So here I'll put in the author. And you see this is an author I've entered before, so it automatically comes up. It's very useful. Put in the year, city of publication, and publisher. And there is the format in the RSE style. So it's a very easy way to enter our references. So now when we go to Microsoft Word, and we want to use these references. So say I have some text where I want to put in a reference. So the formatting now, remember, is the superscript number after the um, uh, punctuation. So I can either go to Tools, End Note, and choose this, uh, one of the options there. But it's much easier if I right-click on the toolbar and choose the End Note option, which will automatically appear when you install this. Um, so there's my End Note toolbar. So I click where I want my reference. I go into End Note, choose the reference that I want to enter, back into Word, and choose Insert Selected Reference. And there it goes. And there's the automatic text with the reference in the ORSE style. That journal should have capital letters, of course. OK, let's try it again for another reference. Click where I want my reference, into EndNote, choose the reference I want, back into Word, Insert Reference. Now, the great thing about EndNote is it'll automatically update the numbers. So say if I decide to put in a new sentence here in between, go in, choose another reference, You'll see here in the in the Word document when I insert the reference, that 2 there will actually change. And it goes to 3 because I put in a new reference before it. That's so a very uh, powerful tool. We can put in groups of references. So say, for example, I want to put in uh, 2 or 3 references. When I go into EndNote, I'm holding the Control key, and I just select which references I want. So here I'll select all 3. Back into Microsoft Word, Insert, and you see it formats it in the correct way. That's a quick tour of using EndNote, and I'd really strongly recommend that you have a look at it, because it uh, is very powerful.